How's it going? Trey Clark here. We are at Tank's house. Tank has been misbehaving. Now I took care of Tank at uh, about four months old and since then this great Pyrenees as you can see right there uh, has been misbehaving around family members and when I say misbehaving anything a 140 pound dog does uh, that seems to cross the line at uh, coming up on one year old is worth uh, revisiting. So he's showing stuff that you cannot uh, really foresee, I suppose is the best way to put it, uh, at four to five months old during the initial training. But we are going to uh, do our walk in. Now I'm not going in cold, okay? I'm gonna go in and uh, I've, I was here last night, and worked with the family a little bit, worked with him, so he's, we've kind of reset to an extent. We're gonna walk in with Brown Dog over here and just kind of go in. This is, not, this is not a blueprint for how to handle an aggressive dog. This is something that I know the details of this. I'm friendly with this dog and uh, have already evaluated it. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so we are going to walk into this house. Brown dog's here. Brown dog's got a leash on and tank dust too. So I'm just gonna walk in and notice I'm not going to make a big fuss. I'm gonna just gonna walk in very quickly. They're ready for it and uh, everyone's good. What are you doing, boy? What are you doing? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Come on, come on. So, okay, so that's good. Hey! So I'm gonna just kind of insert myself now. Tank is, is uh, he's performing with quite a bit of vibrato. The other dog is winding it up. And I'm gonna cut that one off here. So I'm gonna control her for a second. Cut that out. Now, that's bad energy. And she is winding Tank up. So I'm gonna focus on this dog with the bad energy first. Hey! I'm gonna kind of freak her out. There we go. All right, so she's at least understanding that she can't just run around and bark. So now I'm gonna see if, Hank, if Tank uh, minds his manners while I have one on the other dog. And also making sure nothing, there's no pawing or humping. So as soon as it gets kind of uncomfortable, if I see that brown dog is, uh, is like, I want out of here, that I'm not going to challenge him. He is not, hey, shh. All right, so I'm keeping tabs on this guy. Girl. Uh, I'm just gonna manage this. He is a big boy and we are, let's just say I'm not here because he's been the perfect dog. He's a sweetheart, but we're gonna talk about how to uh, interact with a dog. She's submitting now. We're gonna interact with a dog that basically thinks that he is the uh, king of the yard. So everyone's being good now. So I'm gonna let this sit for a second and then we'll talk again. Okay, so everyone has kind of calmed down now. I don't like these closed areas, but it's still not really bad. He's just shh. So everything I'm doing, now notice if, if I uh, confront him, it's different than when he was four or five months old. When I confront him, he's gonna look me right in my eyes, okay? Uh, Brown Dog will will uh, will kind of stare away and turn her head down or something if I challenge her uh, almost immediately. He does not do that. He looks me right in my eyes, and that's one thing. And another thing I'm gonna do is, you can't see it, let me see if I can do it, but I'm gonna kneel down when I approach him. And it's kind of a mutual respect thing. I'm sure I'm doing horrible uh, camera work but that's the idea and it's his house it's his to protect so i uh 99 dogs out of 100 you can kind of come in and claim your space some dogs do not care about your resume and uh he's definitely one of them so we're gonna do this for a little bit and then we're gonna go out on the town and see if we can just recreate good behavior this is a suck uh, this is the type of thing that would be a culprit for letting the big guy covet something that you can't get away and then ends up in a bad situation. So I'm going to let him have it for a few minutes and then I'm going to get it away from him in a way that is hopefully not going to result in a bite. 
if the let, that's that's the goal. We're gonna we're gonna be the humans with the brains versus animals with instincts and see who wins out. But this right here is uh, is is a big deal. So I'm not gonna get into details, but the owners are beautiful owners, and we are all trying to figure this out. So let's see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm gonna hold this for a minute. I'm gonna let him get all my stink on it and stuff, and I'm gonna throw it to him to have. I'm gonna put him in an area that I can, shh, he's growling a little bit. So I'm gonna put him in an area that I feel like I have uh, control of all the dogs. This is a little too open for me, but actually I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. I'm just gonna throw it on the ground and just see if he watches it. Is. Now I'm gonna try and distract him. Hey, boy, yes yeah, you are. So notice he is not as giggly and happy. He wants that, and he's probably willing to uh, to exercise his weight. So what I'm going to do is kneel down, turn my back to him. I can't do it uh, without another camera person, and I'm just gonna sit next to him. I'm not gonna claim that. I'm going to. Just kind of be in the same area and then us get an understanding that the world's not gonna end if he claims it back. So, or if I, if this is not the end of the world, if I have it or he has it, there's nothing there. So I'm just gonna sit next to him. His, temp, his energy level has just gone up. So I'm gonna get away from it. Yeah, you are. I'm gonna try and change the energy. Hey girl, what are you doing, boy? You're just so good. So, and we're just gonna kind of spend some time like this. And now he's still wondering where that is, but my whole idea is just to redirect it. So we'll just keep doing this. I'm gonna go over there and pick it up and just, I don't know, I'm feeling it out. They are not robots. You're a good boy, you're doing fine. So now I've given him the toy and he's kind of coveting a little bit, but he's not being weird. He's, but I can tell his energy level has gone up. So instead of me, now one thing you never want to do is go in, challenge a dog like this and reach in, okay? It's all about redirection and just keeping him out of his own way. He's, he's the watch dog of that toy right now and I've set him up for it, so it's nothing on him. I already know the history of him, so let's see how this goes. Okay, so once again, we are revisiting. Tank is right here, yes you are, yes you are. I'm redirecting him, I've got this. It's not, I'm gonna throw it on the floor and I'm gonna go sit down next to him. I'm not gonna try and take it from him, but I need y'all to see this and watch my energy. Watch me more than him. Okay, everything is gonna be positive and good boy, and I'm not going to look him in the eye, and anytime I wanna do anything, I'm gonna look away from him and have him come to me, rather than me go. One thing you don't ever wanna do is reach into a dog's face that you know already doesn't like that. So, I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna call Brown Dog off so she doesn't chase it. Thank you. Now this is probably a situation where if you reach, if I were to reach in and grab him, uh, it probably would not work out, but he's doing, he's, he's being cool. So now I'm going to do this while this is laying there. Yes, yeah, you are. Now I'm going to create a vacuum that I'm just going to sit here. As you can see, the stuff is right there. His energy is up. And his intensity is up. I still would not reach in there to pick it up. If I needed that sock, I would, I would get him excited about something else and not test this guy, okay? That's very important. Uh, work smarter, not harder, I guess is the thing. So, uh, so now he's gonna come over here. Come here, boy. Notice I'm not even looking at him, okay? If I looked at him, he looks you right in the eye. Okay, this is a big boy. One bite could really be a life changer. So I'm gonna just be oh, so good with him. While that toy that he wants really bad is there. And I'm not gonna make him nervous about trying to claim it back or worry about it disappearing. So uh, I know in these videos, just imagine there's probably 10 minutes in between the, the clips here, so. All right, so I'm gonna pick up the uh, toy, one of them. 
and I'm going to go sit down with Tank here, and I'm not going to take it from him, but we'll see what happens with it. I'm going to clear the area. Hey, what are you doing, boy? You are so good. You are so good. So he has not claimed it yet. He's not coveting it. But I'm going to throw it over there. Hey, boy. Hey, look. Okay. I'm going to let him spend a little moment or two with it. But I'm going to see what happens. This is just a experiment. Hey, boy. Hey. Oh, bro. So I'm not chasing after him. We're just going to share that toy. We're going to share that space. And he's not giving it to me right now. That's all right. He's going to go under the table. Randall, go. He's going under the table, and he is definitely uh, not budging. He's about to make friends. Hey, boy. Come here. He's leaving us there. He's going to come over here. And this is all good. This is all good stuff. Now, we're going kind of, like I said, a little faster than I want to. Uh, I'm gonna go get it, and I'm not gonna do it while he's watching, and I'm not gonna do it while he is uh, standing over it, just giving me that eye. Hey, boy. He is not afraid to look at you dead on and say, this is my world, you're living in it. So, I'm not stupid enough to, to uh, challenge that. So, I'm gonna keep plugging along. Okay, so I diverted Tank's energy. He is eating a treat over here, all the other dogs are, and uh, you are actually not very good at energy, so we're gonna focus on you more. Once you calm down, uh, everyone else does. So now I've got this, Pink is here, and want to know why I've got it. I'm just gonna hold it, and uh, and that's all I got right now. We're gonna, we're gonna get there, but I'm not taunting him or getting him excited about it or playing fetch with him or anything. It's just a, an object that we're all, uh, Gonna have to live in the same house with. And he is not really uh, being all that cool about it, but he's giving me my time with this. Let's see how this works. He's got the toy. Oh, yeah, you are a good boy. Come here. I'm gonna draw some energy my way. He's got the, the toy. Come on, Tank. Brenda, get out of here. What are you, a good boy? Yes, you are. So this is a dog that uh, would probably defend his his coveted toy. I'm near it, not too near it, and I'm not even paying attention to it. Are you? Look at those eyes. And that yawn is good. So he lays down. He's definitely understanding that that thing is over there. So I'll read direction. So what I might do is walk around, get him to follow me, then I'm gonna snatch it up, then I'm gonna hold it for another minute, and then we're done. But I feel very confident that I can do it without a, uh, a video. We're just, we just need to recreate, the idea is to recreate good behavior to where it becomes habit. If he walks back over there, I'm not gonna stress, but he, he wants the good stuff, don't you boy? Don't you? This is what it's all about. He's gonna go back over there and I'm just gonna let him do it. I will get it, but I think I've explained how I'm gonna do it. I might go stand over there for a few minutes and just be there and see if it's stressing him out. If it is, I'm gonna redirect him and, and draw him out and then I'll pick it up. But that's where we are with this, okay? He is now redirected and there is the prize. No bites, no growls, everything is in good cheer. It is now mine and I'm gonna show it to him. See, he's like, you son of a bitch. Actually, Tank, you're a son of a bitch, but you're ours and we're gonna get through this. Cheers, guys. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, this is not a, a, a fix all, this is not a fix visit. This is a intro into how to handle something that reared its ugly head. Unexpectedly, but nonetheless, this is a good natured dog that deserves to be loved on. Uh, it just happens to be big and happened to hit puberty like a ton of bricks or like a truck into a brick wall. So uh, we're gonna solve some of these problems. So just remember, be patient and uh, 
just be kind to animals, be kind to each other, be kind to yourself. There's a reason why I say that. It gets your own mojo going good. If your mojo is good, everyone else's will follow suit. I'm, I'm confident in that. So, y'all have a great day. Cheers.